Welcome back to Let's Play Hot Wheels Beat That. We have a boy. Track T boy. Achieve direct hits with weapons. Well, I, considering what we saw in the last tournament, I suspect we could easily do that with the right racer, that being Rigor Motor. Considering we got 15 direct hits in one race. Ooh, that might actually be hard. I don't tell, I don't want to be out of control. Although that's actually oftentimes true when I try to do a drift. But we'll see. I do have the best stats out of any car right now, purportedly. But even so. Um Zoom. So it might be hard to stay ahead. Your head, you are still here, and that is amazing to me. Yep, I can tell this car doesn't handle as well. It has high speed and not as good handling. I don't even notice the skull on the back of this car. Uh, can I do it? Yes! Welcome to the future, boys. I got 2,000 email notifications flying. Went away. Wonderful. Yeah, though, you can feel the lack of handling on this car, actually. I'm surprised. Uh, I'm tempted to try to stay ahead. My god, I can't actually steer very well on this thing at all. Like, if I had this degree of handling on a slower car, it would be... It would handle like a green. But this car, though, if it's speeding as high as it is... Also, I'm ahead of everyone, somehow. Okay. If it's speeding as high as it is... This is actually kind of tough to handle. Track T has one of those old cars that are a little stiff. Much like Rigor Motor supposedly does, actually, but the Rigor Motor we played as did not have such problems. Well, it did. actually, now I say about it, we did have problems handling the car as Rigor Motor the last two episodes, so who knows. I briefly joked at one point that I have no idea to what degree I really meant this in seriousness, and I wanted to stop, but I couldn't because for some reason I had the grip on the ground. I, at one point, joked that Rigor Motor was actually on dub. It was a very stiff car. That does not control very well. Because Rigor Motor, of course. As is the name. But that didn't really stick, I don't think. In this game, I think it just kind of turned into not knowing how to control a car of such caliber. I'm not usually going to go and driving such vehicles despite working on them. In Track D's case, it's just having an old car sometimes comes back to bite you. I don't know if these mines count as direct hits. That should mess someone up. I think. Yeah, it's nice building consistently down top of that, though. Okay, I didn't bounce that time. Good. In the, even then, I have a hard time controlling. Thing is, though, if your handling stat is too high... Oh, that kind of is direct. Huh? Awesome. Direct from afar. Somehow. Turn! Thing is, if you have too high of a handling stat and you're going too fast, and as we've seen, what that can end in is your car flipping over all the time. Because you're moving at too high a speed and you're turning too sharply. Maybe Track T actually is onto something here. Having a car that turns a little bit less for my own safety. Like you'd see there if I had hit the wall in a convenient way, I would have totally lost control of the car. A big part of his drifts in particular will totally mess you up in a lot of situations. If you're going fast enough. Why am I holding on to this mode? I wonder if you can get a direct hit on someone with supercharged smoke, if that'll count. Anyways, good job, Track D. That was a pretty quick race, too. I have wondered, or rather I had wondered, if some of these races would get sh shorter, notably, because we have faster cars now. And it seems like that might be the case. Success. I wish not, or I miss being able to see the standings, though, in each race. It's one of the really nice things about tournaments. Anyways, I'm tempted to keep playing as Track T now. It was nice. I'm going to play as Race Camera. 
Or, I don't know, like, have we seen Metacog too much? I don't even know. We only see Metacog if we play as well. We don't want to play as them too much. We saw Risk Camp, what do you? You know what? I'll go with Metacog. Bots are the best. Boost of the loop. Where is that? What loop are we talking about? Actually, don't know. Chemistry area, that's vague, but okay. And this game's advocating for a lot of violence lately. So is that a loop that I actually need to use a boost item on, or is there a green ring right before it? It's hard to be sure. We'll find out one day. That day might even be today. No, I think the remote actually just controlled really well in general. Maybe that was why I kept having problems with. Is that not a gold on? I feel like I, I feel like I was in a pretty chemistry related area. Huh. Boom. Oh well I guess. Oh yeah, see they just place it. Why do they do that? They just place the boost directly in front of it and say, do that. And it works. As I was saying, this game's advocating for a lot of violence lately, I feel like. Quite successfully so. Stop boosting. No boosting. I risk it. Not buddies. I will boost, you'll get an item. We'll see who wins. Oh, by the way, if you go to the right right there, on that jump, or on that, at the peak of that hill, if you go a little bit to the right, you can actually clip inside of the earlier portion of the track. I'm tempted to show it. So is this not the chemistry portion I was in? I have to... Ah, I didn't hit. Oh, ha! Sorry, 16 angels. So you had to be in the higher part. There's chemistry going on lower, too. But, whatever. But, as I was saying, you can clip into the part right here where I am here. Right before the loop. I've done off screen by accident. And that'll definitely ruin a race for you. Yeah, though, I feel like after having Plato's Ruger motor, it feels like, so ironically, everything actually controls a little poorly. Nothing turns quite as well. I think it really is that Ruger motor in particular has really good handling. I'd have to look at the actual stats. I don't remember them off the top of my head. Bye, Shakti. I'm so tempted to demonstrate it, but I don't want to lose this race. No! 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 That was accidental in every capacity. There's no way I can catch up. Is there? At the same time, I did get both of the. Ah, I waste time either way. Oh, what? No, what? What? What happened? Jeez. The world has gone very awry for Medicog just now. I don't know, I thought I got that second one. What are you doing? I think the reason I tend to spin out so much as Winger Motor is because of the handling is so high. In conjunction with the high speed. Okay, so... We don't really have much hope of recovering, unfortunately. We did get both goals done. That really only means one goal. It's a little late now to back out, but at the same time... Ah, what's happening? Jeez! You cannot control these cars! Okay. Take two. I mean, that was horrible when that happened, though, clipping into that. Uh, that was completely unintentional, too. I just managed to jinx it, I guess. But... I didn't manage to actually like go straight into it like I figured I would. I didn't just like jump right on, onto it or anything. I managed to very slowly and painfully flip into it. That's not tough. Definitely not a chemistry area anymore. Oh, 
Man, the things that have happened. Stop nearly tipping over, man. This game's physics and levels, neither are designed for this degree of speed. We're getting almost philosophically here with these racers. Is there such a thing as too fast? Yes! Yes, there is! Darn race cam! We're supposed to be working, to bat working together. Yeah, I was hoping to get a speed boost there, but... position now to hit anybody in the chemistry area. I can give that up just to try. Oh, I can. Oh, unless that works. I don't think it did. I don't think grabbing somebody with a boost counts as hitting somebody with the power, unfortunately. It doesn't look like it did. Even though it does make them drop boost, or whatever you want to call it. I don't think this game calls it. The hot wheels, whatever you fill the hot wheels meter with. And you feel it by getting Hot Wheels points, but it was kind of weird to say that cars drop Hot Wheels points when you hit them or anything like that. Oh. Ah. I wonder if it's faster to go down there so I can actually take the speed boost instead. Well, that's probably going to be a rough Tesla to get hit by. Or no, not really. That wall is actually really kind to such victims. Oh well. I did not intend to turn 90 degrees! Stop rolling! I don't feel like I'm fighting other racers half the time, I feel like I'm fighting the game. No revenge, that should be. Challenge them to. There we go! Because I do actually have to get first in this. And I don't have this commanding of the lead as I would like right now. So we'll see what comes of this. That is unfortunate that we got behind the schedule though. With me not messing up any races like this, what would happen is I would get nearly an entire area done, like an entire quarter of the game, like say for instance the bedroom or the attic, I get one of those done, very nearly done, each recording session, each five episodes, but with stuff like this happening, that's not the case anymore. So we're going to be a little bit behind, but such is life. But we got all the flames, so that's nice at least. We still managed to have all the flames so far this recording session, almost 45 minutes in. That I am pleased by. That means less work for me to do later, off screen. And I like not having to do work. I don't know how you feel about that matter, but I'm quite decided on it. Anyways, on the topic of work versus play, Trailblazer. I feel like we should be the ones making the, well, actually Trailblazer is the one that makes the trails, and not the person that follows the trail. Aha! Everyone follows us. Beautiful. We are the followed. Let's have some fun as somebody else. Um, I have been tempted to play as Gearhead lately in these. And I am also to play as Musclebone too. But this is always the time for Dan to get some screen time since he's not racing anymore in any of these. So we'll do this. That's a lot of drifting. And just hit someone basically. And you were concerned if you didn't get that done. Unless you spent a ton of time going for drifting at the beginning instead. Here's Denny. That was a really pleasant looking waveform. Oh no! I got through this anyways. It's really generous timing. That's one hold down. Try to make the jump. You can do it, Danny. I 
barely managed to hit the hit my face on in the first place. We have some really nice places to drift in a circle here though at least. At least if you're using a car like this one. Because you don't need a big place to drift in circles if you're playing as an early car like the Suzuka. I would have liked to get that boost, but okay. I can supercharge it immediately. I think I maybe get the rockets back more quickly too, actually. I wonder if I can actually fire immediately after supercharging. That would be interesting. Anyways. Now all I have to do is just drive a little bit more and then shoot. This is a I feel an overly simplistic game mode sometimes. Freezes are okay, don't worry about that. Like, I, even in Inferno difficulty, I can still complete it with this car. With a car that I don't, I think this is the first car you unlock? Okay, bye. I don't wholly remember. This car is at least in the first tournament. I don't know if it's the unlockable car in the first tournament. But. Anyways. There's that. So that'll be that for this episode. Let's play Hollow Eels Beat That. See you guys next time in the next episode. And we do more races, as whoever it might be. Bye, everyone.